My quick and easy two cheese zucchini and red onion tart is perfect for the whole family. To get started, all I've done is laid a sheet of Maltex bake over an oven tray and then inside that fitted a sheet of store-bought short crust pastry. If you have the time, by all means, make your own short crust, but I'm a little bit time poor at the moment and store-bought is going to be the right fix for that. Next, to get started with the blind baking, I'm going to line my pastry on top with a second sheet of Maltex bake. And then in this, pour in lots and lots of rice. You can use baking beans if you have them. Basically, the idea of blind baking is that we want to weight the pastry down. And that way, it won't create any air bubbles and it won't rise. It leaves more room for filling. Okay, I'm going to pop it in the oven for about 15 minutes. Then I'll pull it out. I'll just remove the beans and the paper Pop it back in the oven for about another 10 minutes and it should be done. Now, if I do happen to have a little bit of the edge of my pastry catch at all and go a little bit dark while the rest of it is still quite blonde, I'll make a collar with some alfoil and that way it'll protect it while the rest of it goes brown. I'll place it in the oven. While my pastry is baking in the oven, I've just sauteed off some red onion, garlic and some thinly sliced zucchini. Today, I've made some ribbons, but if you want to, you can cut it however you like, so long as it's nice and thin. That way, it'll cook quickly. To this, I've also added just a little bit of thyme. In the bowl in front of me, I have some eggs and some Greek yogurt. Now, I've just seasoned this with a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm going to whisk it up, just like so. Perfect. To this, I'm going to add my cheese and give it a little bit of a stir. Next, I'll add my cooled zucchini mix. Oh, it's beautiful, it smells delicious. Now, if you want to, you can use any veggies that are in season, just depending on what season it is. I, at the moment, have lots of zucchinis growing in my garden, so this tart is going to work perfectly. All right, we'll stir this together just until it's nicely combined. That's perfect. Now, I can smell my pastry. I better go rescue it from the oven. Perfect timing. Caught my pastry just in time. Now, I'm ready to fill it. We'll just nicely and evenly spread my beautiful zucchini filling over the base of the tart. making sure that all of your ingredients are quite even. You want it to look a little bit pretty. Now making sure that you take your filling all the way to the edges. Okay, that's great. Now, to finish, some beautiful feta. And just crumble it over. You can use any cheese combination that you'd like to. To try some halloumi, that would be delicious. Anything that's going to make it nice and cheesy, really. Oh. Okay, now I'm going to pop that in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. I don't know if I'm going to be able to wait that long though. Two cheese, zucchini, and red onion tart. What more can I say?